What day is it today, Mossy? What day is it today? That's right, it's Density Day. Come on. Yes, so people, as I said, today is Density Day. Here's Massey trying to get in the shot. Come on. Up you get. Say hi, Mas. Say hi to YouTube. Say, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTuber shit. No, leave that to the end, leave it to the end. All right, hey, get down, get down. Wait. Right, so as I said, today is density day, um, which means basically it's my whole posterior chain. So pull, glutes, hamstrings, and also a small bit of quads there. And um, the reason for calling it density, I believe, is because, well, first of all, it's the most taxing day of the week, but also um, when you hit that kind of back shot, like your back double bicep and stuff, it's kind of like them density muscles, isn't it really? And also the thickness, um, and you can kind of see your quads from your back as well. I believe that's why it is. I heard, I think I heard the age of Mars, someone say that, but could be wrong, I don't know. We'll run you through the session as always once we get to the gym. My last YouTube video got some mad love, got like 450 views or something, which is sick. I'm actually very happy with that. So if you haven't already, head back over, give that a watch. I also always time these videos really badly with my haircuts. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, but I've got a buzz cut since the last time you would have seen me. Look like my father, but um, yeah, it's not fresh enough to, to not warrant wearing a hat, so hat staying on for the foreseeable, as it does with majority of my YouTube videos. I'm really a hat guy. I wear beanies and baseball caps and snapbacks and all hats the whole time. But yeah, that's going to be that. I'm going to show you my pre-workout meal, as I always do as well, same as last time. Calories haven't changed. Body weight has changed. I'm holding 200 pounds now nicely. I'm 201.8 this morning. Um, calories are still 3950. My next video will be a full day of eating. So let me know in the comments if that's what you want to see. I met this girl when I was three years old. What a love, but she had so much soul. She said, Excuse me, little homie, I know you don't know me, but my name is Wendy, and I like to blow trees, and from that point, I never blow off. I got a bit of shit in my last video for rapping off one of the lads who says I can't rap. I can spit barriers, let me tell you, okay? So don't be coming up here on my YouTube videos telling me I can't sing and I can't rap. Keen O'Brien has got bars. Behind bars, link up TV. Show Come like Oprah, I would be the host of everyday Christmas. Give Trevor your wish list. I'll probably pull an Angelina and Brad Pitt. A doctor for your babies that ain't never had shit. Give away a few savings like you may have this. That's not these rich body will last. It's been a couple of months since I've been to go so. You can call me Travi Claus minus the whole pub. Get it. Can't forget about me, stupid. Everywhere I go, I'ma have my own theme music. What you see, what you see, bro? I bought everything. Beautiful. <laughs> right, so here it is, meal one in all its glory. Same as the last video, exact same. Same thing I have every single uh, meal one, except sometimes this swaps for blueberries. And strawberries. Watching Keefe building a big back in depth deadlift day. And if you're not watching someone do deadlifts before you go and train deadlifts yourself, then you're missing out. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this now and enjoy it. Mic check one two. So we are in for posterior. I come back to my little area that I do for every day and just get myself ready, get myself in the zone. Um, so already have my can of monster in me, which you would have seen. That purple one, which is pretty rare for me, but it's nice all the same. And now I'm just gonna have my pre-pump. So I'm still on the Dr. Bean's pre-pump formula. Again, it's non-stim, so no caffeine in it. That's why I got the um, the monster before. It's not as if I'm trying to limit my caffeine intake. Um, not the moment, what I do, like obviously I have a, a certain amount that I just, oh look, look at it. Why does every pre-workout do that when you open it? Um, well yeah, like I have one, cu one cup of coffee a day, one uh, can of Monster, and then I also have a decaf coffee at about half two, three, before I do some evening work. So my caffeine cut, cut off, like I'd never take in caffeine after 2 p.m. really. Um, 
just because obviously caffeine has a um, half-life of eight hours so it's basically in your system for eight hours after you um, you drink it so yeah I'm just gonna get this pre-workout ready and um, this pump and then I will run you through my session Hey, what's the story? How are you? How are you? Happy, are you happy with your check-in? Yeah. All good? All good. Yeah, no. Not giving out to me for anything, no? Huh? Not giving out to me for anything. No. <laughs> I would never. Never. Right, so today's session is posterior slash density slash pull and legs. So whatever way you want to label that. So we're starting off with dumbbell thoracic extensions. Okay. Um, I actually have done an Instagram post on that in the past, so go to my Instagram and give that a look if you want to know exactly why we're doing it, but it's really the only exercise where we can train spinal flexion and extension, and also shoulder protraction and retraction. So you never really get to train your spinal extensions in any other exercise, um, so it's very, very good. And it's been done prior to stiff leg deadlifts, so it's kind of a good, I suppose, primer, if you want to call it that. So second set, second exercise then is going to be stiff legs, um, stiff leg deads. So I actually do these elevated as well, just because to be honest, I'm just not built to deadlift. Um, my limbs are quite long, but I was plus five kg and matched reps last week. So I'd like to max, max up my reps now on that today. Um, again, same as last session, the same as nearly every session, majority of my stuff is top set and back offset. There is, there is a handful of things today where there's three sets but majority is just going to be two okay and I'll walk you through that when we get there then we have the seated hamstring curl um, again I've actually done a reel where I really got into depth in terms of the seated hamstring curl and kind of how to get the most out of it so go back and watch that on my Instagram as well leg press um, chest supported row T by row D handle pull down unilateral and an incline dumbbell curl so you see we're kind of starting off there with our posterior chain so everything um, is kind of posterior chain based except for the leg press there's a small bit of quads there so that's really for density muscles if you want to label it as that but um yeah that's gonna be that as i said i'm 201 pounds as of this morning 201.8 so i put a photo up on the screen now as to what i look like yesterday after push first time i've actually ever been happy really with some sort of side chest shot in my life so we are definitely getting somewhere um, but obviously there's a lot of different variables that come into play to um, to allow for that as well so yeah all is good trends going well gonna sip on this now gonna do a bit of um, activation work for my shoulder and then we'll get into it all right yo people what is up MC Keenan O'Brien back on the mic again for another voiceover so um first exercise here today is the dumbbell thoracic extension and um, this is definitely going to be the most milked movement of 2022 most definitely was the most milked one at the latter end of 2021 but it's really really good movement and um, what you do is you get to go through full scapula protraction and retraction along with spinal flexion and extension um, so although we do train say scapula retraction in a t-bar row we don't directly load it as we do here with the intention of actually building the muscles around the scapula like your traps your rhomboids etc so there's really no other movement like this and um, so go through full spinal flexion placing say the top of the bench just below your sternum then you enter um, spinal extension driving your chest up towards the ceiling and you also do full shoulder protraction at the bottom and then a retraction as you come up um, and get into that kind of end position so as good a cue to think about when you're performing this movement is just driving your chest up towards the ceiling engaging your glutes and maintaining stability throughout um, then moved on to my stiff leg deadlifts so for me my pull look at that fucking dirty plate falling all off for me my stiff legs have always been or just my deads in general has always been a lagging um moving for me or a poor movement for me i've never actually ran with them for a while so you can see i'm pulling from a plate here um i just don't have the capability to get down that low just my limbs are extremely long so for you if you're listening to this you know you're probably sound to pull from the floor but you know for me pulling from these plates is like you pulling from the floor so um i got asked the other day what does it feel like to pull from the plates it just feels like someone with smaller limbs pulling from the floor it's the exact same thing so um yeah, really uh, working up to my top sets, you can see uh, my first workout set, I did one plate aside. Uh, I did that for a couple of reps, then I went to two plates, did that for another couple of reps. And as I progress up, I lower the um, progressions, so I kind of 
ch change to 10 kilos either side and lower my reps and now I think I'll just do this for a single uh, with three plates aside yeah just do the single and now this is my top set okay so this is uh, 150 <coughs> excuse me 150 kg um, 5 to 9 is the rep range here and I got 7 the week previous um, I was feeling nice and strong here today though so I believe I went for the 9 I got the 9 um, I suppose really just trying to I suppose get in the zone get everything ready to go and the best thing to do is get as good a grip as you can possible so take the slack out of the bar and then drive your feet into the floor okay so don't think about pulling the bar up just think about driving your feet into the floor trying to maintain um, stability throughout your back and all your back muscles so you can see I'm absolutely flying through it I just do touch and go um, instead of a dead stop but for me that works well at the moment and I will um, swap back to a dead stop so Rep number nine here coming up. Yeah, nice. So this is the back offset then. So just down to um, three plates aside then for the back off. Again, this is plus five kg on the previous week. And I believe I get 11. Rep range is 10 to 12. repping the gasp it's funny man if i seen someone wear like gasp or like real bodybuilding clothes like fucking i don't know how long ago like even like two three years ago i'd be like oh i'm never wearing that and now i just absolutely love it up she goes you can see at the end i'm not quite happy i i i i, I pussy out to be honest i i bitch out with this one i believe it is or the next one should have got one more not good, not good keen. Um, so this is actually my second top set on the C hamstring curl. Um, the first one I tried to record and as you can see I'm messing around with the equipment here. It just doesn't lock into place and the first time I did it the whole thing just fell apart and I got too angry so I'm just not putting that in the video. Um, but as you can see um, I suppose it's quite um, self-explanatory C hamstring curl um, as anyone else would do a seat hamstring curl just think about pausing in both the lengthened and the shortened edge um, don't think about oh there she goes right in front of the camera don't think about um, no cheat reps like you know don't, don't think about um, trying to burst out as fast as you can think nice, nice slow control to dragging your heels towards your bum and getting your hamstring as short as you can um, and then just pressing down against the tie pad as hard as you can with your hands and driving that into your knees um, or your or your ties so I believe I hit the top end of the rep range here again stay at the bottom of my feet tie one more no. um, now leg press this was a big set for me I actually had butterflies before this one like because I've been trying to get well I'm not trying this is my first time actually pressing six plates aside 625s um, aside but it was on my um, it was on my mind for a while. It's something that I was working up towards. Um, so I really wasn't expecting it, it's six to ten rep range. I was kind of I would have been happy with six, but as you'll see now, I um I, I surprised myself with, with how many I got. So happy with that now. That was that was a uh, something that I had in my mind. So next um next goal will be seven twenty five aside. You can see at the start of the movement how I kind of get into it. How I came, get myself locked into place. Um and to be honest, man, I just I just black out. I just zone out. Like I just. Music goes, the drop hits, some heavy techno, some acid techno, and then I just go into a different world and I don't stop. You know, I don't stop when I hit the rep range, I stop when I can't do anymore. Some nice slow control there. That was fucking heavy, I won't like that was very fucking heavy. Just think about driving my knees out as well. Like go for a lower foot placement when possible, okay, with, as long as my heels don't come up, um just to maintain or to get as much um keep it as quad dominant as possible now look to be honest i got 10 reps there i was not expecting that at all and arguably i could have had one more that last one was actually a lot more of a struggle than it looked but i'm, I'm happy with it i'm happy it was it was plus 10 kilos and max or, or matched reps or no sorry plus a rep actually because i got nine last week but this felt strong then on to the back offset Back offset now is I dropped off a 25, two 25s and I placed on a 20. Um, so I fly through this. 
it was supposed to be 10 to 12 and I believe I came out with uh, with 15 I think it could have been let me double check that on my logbook now I have it here in front of me come out with 18 so a nice little 18 rapper and again that's another case of you know reaching the top end of the rep range and not stopping because I, I reached the top end of the rep range but because I wasn't fucking done so I just keep pressing I can't do anymore um, so I may have stopped in the last set but usually this is what I would do especially on a back off set as well when I don't have anything coming after it so you can see I think I said to Smiley here beside me who spotted me I think I said anything from here or something is, is, is a bonus because it was over the rep range I just said I'm going to keep going Up she goes. Yeah, nice one. Beautiful. Again, to be honest, man, I could have took a fourth rep, but you know, like if a rep is 50 50, uh, like uh, to be honest, I don't even think that rep would have been 50 50. I definitely would have to taken a fourth rep. I say it was more like 70 30 for me not getting it, so I kind of just leave them off, especially with the volume escalation coming next week. Um, chest supported row then, okay. Um, so this chest supported row is actually pretty light, but a few, um, tips for you and uh, for any chest support row is just start from the ground up anyway definitely and um, just think about getting locked into place stability the way i always reference this or say this is you know you can't shoot a cannon from a canoe so you need to be stable from the floor up to be able to generate as much force as you can then i also like to keep my chest against the pad as hard as i can or kind of imagine trying to squish a like a 50 cent coin in between your chest and the chest pad and I also look to enter full protraction and retraction of the shoulders. Okay, so as I was saying before, with the dumbbell thoracic extension, the chest port row does train the shoulder protraction and retraction, but not as much as we can kind of load it here. I think this is a better kind of overall movement, um, just in terms of generating force and actually rowing to get that kind of thickness, as a fella says. So yeah, um, I believe I was up weight on both of these so I was quite happy with that um, then on to the single arm lap pull down so the proper single arm lap pull down not a upper back pull down which majority of people do but um, as you can see kind of the setup here okay so the bench is set up to offer me more support which in turn is going to allow me to generate more force similar to the chest support row um, the more, you know, if you can keep your chest supported for majority of your movements you can really isolate whatever it is that you're trying to work especially on your rows okay so if you can do a chest supported row you can really isolate your lats in comparison to doing a barbell row where you're you know you're you're relying on all these stabilizer muscles and hip flexion and all this kind of crack and um, or sorry hip extension in comparison to, to what we can do with this okay um so then the d hound the d handle then allows me to um allows free free movement of the wrist joint and the single arm is caters for pretty much everyone's biomechanics so then the angle of your elbow to your body will dictate how much lat is going to be used okay so this setup allows me to angle my humerus to my body to follow the correct path of my lat i think about i suppose tucking my upper arm right in beside my body as this is where my lat is located and the more elbow flares out the less lat that is involved and finally then i don't protract my shoulder at the top so you can think about it. imagine wrapping your elbow around your lat without moving your arm at the top of the movement okay that will be this will activate your lat and that will be your starting point and then from there just think about driving your elbow down towards your hip and finally then you would have seen i was pointing my fingers in a pistol form or trying to make a pistol out of my fingers and um, just to stop from activating my brachialis and allows me to keep the majority of the tension on my lat so then just on to some inclined dumbbell curls okay so i kind of swap this around sometimes i do like a say 65 or 75 degree incline this bench is a full degree incline and i have my elbows behind my body behind my torso and um, just to kind of i suppose prioritize different um ranges of the biceps so the lengthened range or the shortened range um and yeah that's pretty much everything it's an incline dumbbell curl so pretty self-explanatory from there to think about getting your pinkies up towards your shoulders and yeah that's it for the voiceover right so we are back from the gym um time is currently 23 minutes past two. Um, about to eat my post workout meal now, which I will show you. So it is going to be 135 grams of Cocoa Pops, a bagel with some sweet chili chicken, and 220 grams of pineapple. So yeah, I'm going to eat this. Um, I have 
three consultation calls after this people who um want to join the coach Joaquin team which is sick um actually two of them are photo shoot um, inquiries so that would be cool as well and i will pick up with you in, when i finish this minute because it's something that i want to speak to you about yo so before i wrap up this video i just want to speak to you quickly about one thing and that's going to be photo shoot photo shoot preps um i done a q a on my story the last day and lots of questions about photo shoots and kind of your experience and kind of the repercussions and all that kind of crack and also this time of year january people are looking to do some sort of extreme dieting and stuff so what i want to get across to you is your photo shoot prep experience is completely subjective okay just because someone has a bad experience doesn't mean you will have a bad experience just because i had a great experience doesn't mean you will have a great experience it's like anything in life you have to you know take it on yourself i suppose or listen to people's opinions or experiences and then come up with your own opinion of it um, or go and try it out yourself you can't just because i had a fucking far from life-changing experience when it happened for me and i would honestly say that it really put me on a straight and narrow with a lot of things doesn't mean that it'll be for you and just because someone had a bad experience doesn't mean you will have a bad experience you know you have to be able to take things on board and you know look at things from a, from different perspectives so just because you know so you might hear one horror story and that will throw you off when there's nine times out of ten and for me definitely nine nine times out of ten people i know that have done them all have had great experiences but obviously there's going to be one or two um, bad experiences but that's going to come down mainly to you know the coach probably because i do know a few people who've had bad experiences but they've all been with the same coach so just bear that in mind okay take things on board but just because i had a great experience doesn't mean you have a great experience but just because someone else had a bad experience doesn't mean you will have a bad experience so yeah if you want to do one just weigh up the options the pros the cons are you ready to do one physically mentally and kind of what it takes the commitment and don't get me wrong it was the best four months of my life whatever it was 110 percent 110 percent i'll always say that um but yeah that's going to be that for another video really actually really 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 appreciating the support on the last one a few random comments here of people like you know saying well done and asking me questions and stuff and then also a few subscribers came off the back of it so really happy with that um i know it's nothing crazy i think i only have like 205 subscribers or something but you know if you're one of them guys peace out peace out and shout out to you but um yeah that's gonna be that uh for another video please like subscribe comment all that youtuber shit and we will see you in the next one. Man, grab it and kill it. Rock B, I was in a tea house, head back dusty. Still waking up to nudes and country. Bore on the off and a bando. Profit all so lovely. My little bro shared that a pack and flushed it. Tell me how he could be so clumsy.